yeah, just as soon, I'm back. You don't see me yet on the screen, but you're looking at the center console. And you're probably asking yourself, what's going on today, Car Quicks? And how, how are you back so soon? Well, if you see right here, inexplicably, this car came with no armrest. <gasps> I don't understand why that was the case and for anybody wondering why we care so much some of us are over the height of five six <laughs> but honestly some of us like an armrest and I'm one of those people so I'm putting an armrest on I'm at a ridiculous angle shooting this video because all you need to look at is the armrest and I'm going to install it it's blazing again there's sweat on my face already I'm already tired but we're gonna we're gonna put this on so I don't look at the instructions for this this wasn't made from Toyota right I know you're like yo how much y'all spend on them GRs you paying M over MSRP and you ain't got no armrest I mean what can I say what can I say but a gentleman by the name of well, his name online is GR Nola, like Granola, GR Corolla. You can see his name right there. He's the one that created this, right? And so he was on the forum, and when this car came out, like him, like myself, many of us were like, yo, no armrest is not a good look. So he created a kit to place right chia, right? Perfect. Now, I have red stitching. I know there's white stitching on the seats. Soon enough these seats are not going to be here and the seats that will be here will have red stitching so just give it some time it, it'll all make sense so to begin we are going to grab the parts we need out of this box we have this piece here i believe that's pretty simple straightforward this all came from six element these guys right here they make very high quality stuff they have an exhaust coming out I like the way the exhaust sounds, even though I am a proponent of a three tip exhaust, but I can't lie, the dual tip one they have sounds really good. So we, I don't know where I'm gonna go when it comes to exhaust yet. I mean, I'll perfectly honest, I would prefer three tips because I just like the uniqueness of it, but I also understand costs. And if these exhausts coming out are gonna all be, you know, $2,000 or more, then I might have to take make an audible and decide that I'm gonna have a different type of exhaust on the car because I'm not gonna act like I'm made of money. And we're moving the box out of here. $2,2500 exhaust, $3,000 exhaust, like the one from Miltech, which I liked a lot because they have brushed titanium exhaust tips. It's a lot. It's a lot to ask of people Especially when we're not talking about super high-end cars like BMW M3s and stuff. It's just a lot to it's a lot to ask. So we're gonna put this on. I have not done this, but I am assuming this is as straightforward as it goes. This is probably the base plate that slides right here, like so. And let me see. Yep, it is. Okay. I got it. Pretty much what I expected. I'm not I'm mechanically inclined, so a lot of this stuff I can kind of figure out. Once I see how it goes and how it works, I can figure it out. So we're gonna place that there. We have to take off this rubber grommet piece right here to get down to what we need. And so I have a little interior kit piece. I'm gonna drop down those tools right there. You're still looking at the center console. Hopefully if this video turns out that it's not even worth my time to upload, then you won't ever see it. And this is all just me talking to myself. I got my little interior plastic piece things you should get some of these they help out a lot when it comes to grabbing up this stuff right here like this so we're going to pull that up oh that's easy oh look at the piano black under there looks better than the one that's already on the car because guess what the one on the car is getting beat up like i said piano black not the business but hey this is what we got all right so i'm guessing all these provisions this kind of goes like that, I'm guessing, right? Yes, it is. So there's three, one, two, three, the center pieces. That's what this is right here. 
these little guys, the little white plastic piece you see, I'm, I'm, I'm saying guessing, but I'm just saying that for lack of a better word right now. These little pieces here, these go right here. See, so one, two, and three. That fits lovely. Then we got these screws right here. That's where this plate is. Plate goes there. I'm gonna get my little bit I need to screw this stuff in. There we go. Gonna put that over there. Gonna grab the Milwaukee. Now this is the impact one. You don't gotta use the impact one unless you don't, if you know how to use one without destroying a piece of plastic then by all means use it if you don't go get some hand tools and so this piece goes here one two three three screws one hold up hold up, hold up. one two and three now i do notice that once this all snugs in there I'm going to use this to kind of drive this down slowly. That was semi slow. Not really as slow as I would. There we go. And that is firmly in place. Can't really go nowhere. Now we have this guy here, which I believe is sits right here like so. Now the question is, wait a minute. Oh, I see. I'm tripping. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Sorry. There's a little delay in my brain power because I was not thinking. But we're, we're back. We're back. No, don't worry. No worries. I was looking at that and I was like, hmm, something doesn't look right. But it's because I was being dumb. So this right here, little this little base plate right here has these little screws that screw into these holes right here. And so this has an opening inside of here. You can see it on this side. That would be these openings here. These place the screws there. So I'm going to feed them into there. And this one screw kind of goes, let me see. Okay, there goes one. There goes two. Once you get like two in, the rest of this is gonna line itself up pretty much. I mean, it's not, it's all self tappers and plastic. So eventually the plastic is going to not look the prettiest once you're done doing this whole process of getting everything in. So we're gonna then drill this down or screw it down a little softer. This one is There we go. I have it on a low setting, so I know people hear the ratcheting. They're like, yo, this man's going crazy on the plastic. It's on low setting, so fear not. There we go. There's that. Let me check one more time. Hold up, got to get at a better angle here. All right, that is firmly in place. This feels real solid, I'm not gonna front. Little, the gentleman that did this, man, shout out to him, cause this is some solid feeling stuff. Now, next phase, there is this piece here that obviously sits right on top. Now, the question I have is whether this is facing the right, I'm assuming this is the right direction because 
if I was to put it this way and slide the piece on backwards, like should it go on backwards or should it slide in this direction? That is a question I have. So I'm gonna place this here to see. I'm guessing this direction because then you want this piece right here to look better on the front. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. I can't imagine you do it any other way. I mean, what other way would you do it? All right, so I'm gonna grab the other four I need. Hold on, I'm taking, I'm checking out the, oh yeah, we're good, we're good. We're Gucci. All right, so we're gonna grab four more screws. I got, I thought I had to use all these screws in here, but it looks like they just gave me extras in case, you know, something goes wrong and you're like, yo, I need another screw. You need to probably, you know, one cent piece, you know, screws that you can just buy in bulk. So easy. Putting the four screws in like so. Find the place to place to thread them in that as well too we're gonna do this again screw these down i'm gonna undo that a little bit that was a little too much this is probably where you want to be soft with the screwing in because it's not a hard plate underneath it's a little hand tight is what you want to what you want to have it at Now we're going to take the armrest itself and basically slide it into place. Oh, there you go. Oh, so it has adjustment. Oh, okay, this can move forward too. This piece itself can and that's it there's the armrest I got a little storage inside look at that right here storage there I mean this is lovely I should have had this from Toyota but they that's didn't have it. it so now an armrest installed shout out to the people that built this good job great for supplying the community with something i still have this rubber piece left which i'm probably gonna just do that slide in there okay can't see me you can hear me i'm out that's how you install the armrest in a gr corolla peace